Hey guys, it's been a welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we uh defeated the Rocket Hideout. We got the Silph Scope, which is awesome, and uh we bought Pokemon. I think we may have done that the part before, but I don't know. It, it has literally been four months since I recorded last, like ridiculously long, and I I kind of hope that I I can finish off this game in this recording session, but yes! I just clearly went to the best place in the world. Can I actually go from the first floor? I can go from the first floor to the first floor. Best part about this lift. Anyway, I've changed my party a little bit, but I realized that I have completely forgotten something in my items. I haven't actually checked to see if I dropped off the items I needed. I probably haven't. Mainly because I'm holding on to TMs. Irons. This is professional of me. Change the party. Don't bother about um the <laughs> friggin' TMs in your inventory. But I realize that I'm gonna need to buy four fresh water. I actually don't know if you need only one or four. We'll find out eventually. Uh, but I had completely forgotten. Because you know how we can't go into Saffron? That's apparently because all the guards are very very thirsty. This is how you get into Saffron City. You have to give one of the guards water, and I don't know if all of them suddenly are okay after that, but... I don't know. Um... Anyway, in this part, we've got a couple of things we need to do. Uh... The most important part... Is that heading out this close door? I don't even know. Uh... One of the most important things that we have to do is we need to head back into the Pokémon Tower. Mainly because we needed the Silph Scope, because that allows you to see ghosts. Apparently, I don't even know. Um, now, you know how I said, um, wait, we're not depositing anyone. We're changing the box. No, we're not even changing the box. We're going, by the way, you do have several boxes, so if you do catch too many Pokemon, you do need to, you know, switch the box. <laughs> Um, I also have a nugget, I need to sell that. Uh, but anyway, when I said that I hadn't recorded this in four months, that's because I recorded this back in, you're not gonna need the left key, trust me. I recorded everything before this in September. That was before Pokemon X has come out. It is currently, Je um, February, I'm recording this in January, so... Uh, but I'm assuming this is going to come out in February, if I've done my job correct. Um, and if it's out in February, that means that Pokemon X has been out for four months. And I haven't talked about it on this... On this Let's Play at all. Oh boy, I'm parched. Huh, I can have this drink? Gee, thanks. So yeah, so this is the way to Saffron City. You need to head this way. You need fresh water. Oh, so I guess you only do need one because he's going to share it with the other guards. Anyway, welcome to Saffron City. Um, it's yellow. You're not allowed to head into here. And in fact, you're not even allowed to head into a lot of places right now because Team Rocket are all over the place. That being said, you can enter the gym. One of them. Uh, so yeah. I also wanted to talk about, um, uh, um, what is it? I want to talk about, uh, how many Pokemon can you get if you only have one game cartridge? And I believe the answer to that is 124. Mainly because, okay, so there's, there's 11 Pokemon that are exclusive to each version, so therefore you cannot catch them. By the way, yeah, Saffron is a huge connecting point, and literally all you need to do is just walk straight through everything and boom. Boom, you're at the other side. You may be wondering, it's four and a half minutes and I haven't actually gone to any battles whatsoever. Well, yeah. Anyway, we're heading back to the Pokemon Tower mainly because... Uh... Because we have the Silph Scope, we can head to the top of it. Um... Also, because we have the Silph Scope, that means that I actually have to edit in Pokemon in the sidebar. Because from this floor up... You will find wild Pokemon that aren't just the ghosts. Um, now let's see. 
So on this floor you'll find Ghastly, Cubone, and Haunter, and in fact all the floors you'll find that. Uh, the rates do change a bit across the floors, but hey, if you want to catch Ghastly or I've got only a normal type attack against Ghost type, sweet. If you want to catch it, yeah. If you want to catch Ghastly or Haunter, this is pretty much the only chance you can get them. That being said, they're not too great because the psychic type Pokemon in this game are very good, and unfortunately, all of the ghost types, all three of them, are also poison type. So, you're kind of at a disadvantage there. I mean, granted, and also, there's not really a lot of good ghost type moves. These first Pokemon, the first Pokemon generation, uh, good idea, just the executions is a bit off. And you can you can tell, because a lot of things aren't really the most balanced things. Uh, after playing Pokemon X, my goodness, did they balance everything. <laughs> oh my gosh, like, seriously. Stuff like Pinsir, and in fact, all the Pokemon that get Mega Evolutions, like, have really good purposes now. For example, like, stuff like Pinsir and Sylveon have abilities that, ch that turn every normal type attack into, in Pinsir's case, a flying type attack, and in Mega Pinsir's case, by the way, and Sylveon's case, a, fi a fairy type attack, and then they all do extra damage on top of that, and then all of the Pokemon get more stats, and all of the Pokemon have an added type. So suddenly, something like Pinsir is extremely good. That being said, um, Sizzle's also pretty good. I I'm putting Sizzle on my team. Uh, you may be wondering why I'm just walking through everybody. That's because I already battled them. So you know how I went up this tower, like, a few parts ago? I think part 17? 16? 16. Um, and we pretty much fought everybody. That, that's pretty much why. I was just like, all these guys are very, did we find a, Wow! Oh, Haunter's 15% on the top floor. Wait. Haunter has like a 1% chance on the lowest floor of the... ...of the, um, tower, but it goes up to like 15. Now, once you get up to here... Be gone, intruders! It's the ghost! However, because we have the Sylph Scope, we have an unveil that it's really... A Marowak. Now, stories tell that this Marowak, um... I, uh, uh, stories tell that this Marowak is actually the mother of a baby Cubone that was killed by Team Rocket. Anyway, there are people around that kind of tell you that, uh, but to be honest, it's not really told a lot. I appreciate the Pokemon Origins, um... It's not really a movie, but... Lol, just using focus energy. <laughs> Note how much of a crit this is. Not a crit. Uh... So yeah, anyway, so we haven't seen Marowak before. Marowak is basically the evolution of Cubone at level 28. So yeah. Uh, I don't think you can catch it anywhere, but to be honest, you can find Cubone in this place. Cubone's a bit rare, I think you can get it somewhere else, but to be honest, it's... You don't really need to catch this Marowak. More so, you can't catch this Marowak at all! I had completely forgot about that, I looked it up and I was just like, oh yeah, I'll catch this Marowak. You can't catch it! Which is very interesting, you think you might? I mean, I, I guess it's a ghost. Although you can technically glitch your way into doing this, and yes, Rabbo just completely took out a ground type. Anyway, it was the restless soul. The soul was calmed, and it departed to the afterlife. Happy end. Not quite. If you keep going, you'll find Team Rocket's kind of up here. So yeah, so there's three trainers that you'll need to fight when you get up to the top here. Um, also, the wild Pokemon are kind of strong up here. I know, I'm still going in with Grabber. What do you want? Why are you here? He's a rocket man. Anyway, so this guy's got three Pokemon, basically. He doesn't have a lot of stuff. Also, seriously, Grabber is awesome. 
This is why I love Pinsir. He's really good in the first generation. In the later generations, he's kind of outclassed because Scizor exists. Uh, Scyther has an evolution. Uh, in the anime, apparently Electabuzz is more so Scyther's rival rather than Pinsir, but I don't know. And seriously, if you get Chris, it's like, oh my gosh, it's brilliant. The only problem is that, you know, one move. Can't do much about that, really. And I know Pinsir doesn't evolve, but he's got really good stats anyway. Oh, oh, gosh, oh, 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 gosh. This is Golbat, by the way. He's the evolution of uh, Zubat at level 22. This isn't going to be good. Um, you know, I guess, you know, I guess in this game, he's not that great. In the second generation, Golbat can evolve further into Crobat, which I think is pretty good because he's one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. But... In this game, I wouldn't even say avoid it for its not too spectacular stats. I'd say avoid it for that sprite, because, oh, that is terrible. This is why people said the sprites in the first game were absolutely dreadful, because this Golbat sprite exists. Seriously, that is hideous. Moopy, can you succeed? Thank you, Moopy. That sound is absolutely hilarious. Da -da 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 -da. Wrap it. Oh my gosh, Moopy. Moopy, stop hitting yourself. Moopy's actually gonna die. Almost. So this is the troubles of trying to train several Pokemon at once. You know, you get a lot, and especially, like, this kind of stuff. Oh my gosh, he knows two different attacks to confuse you. Wow. Also, you can clearly see how how much more powerful Pinsir is. There's like Grabo is just like a boss, and I missed any power. So thankfully, I can attack him. Seriously, why does this guy know two different confusing attacks? Also, confusion is the bane of my existence. Seriously. So as you know, he knows Bite, Confuse Ray, Supersonic, and Screech. That is an interesting combination right there. Holy snap, this Golbat's taking forever. I just want to get rid of that sprite! Get that off the screen! Get that sprite off the screen. Okay, well, almost all my Pokemon died, so... I think that was a success. I give up. I'm not going to forget this. And then they walk away. Uh, what, what am I going to do? I will actually use my fresh water because I've just bought a ton of them and I have no use for them. Hopefully these guys won't be as annoying as that. So yeah, um... Anyway, I know, I know it's February, I know everyone has played X and Y by now, pretty much, but may I just say that a lot of its elements are actually really good. Um, that being said, it's still Pokemon, you know, you can't really change it too much. Uh, but there's a lot of neato elements that are in there, and I thought that was one of the worst parts about Black and Y. There just wasn't really anything new in there. Just a lot of new Pokemon. This one, this game only has like 70 new Pokemon. But, my goodness, does it, does it make it seem like there's a lot of Pokemon in the game? Seriously. Seriously, I don't care if you, you introduce a, a bajillion new Pokemon, you still have to... <laughs> like, I don't know, if you play X and Y, there's like about 400 Pokemon you'll just casually find as you're walking along. Like, there's a ridiculous amount of Pokemon you can find in the game. Whereas in Black and White, you know, you can barely find anything. Rousey! Whoa. I don't know what that sound is, but okay. Headbutt, ooh. Interesting. Um... So yeah. Am I saying X and Y is one of the better RPGs of the year? It's up there? I haven't played Nino Kuni, but I would put that up there. Because, to be honest, a lot of people said Nino Kuni is awesome. Pokemon are only good for making money! Stay out of our business! Of course, that's what the, um... That's what the lottery machines are. The lottery? The slot machine. The slottery. You're not saving anyone, kid. I am saving the world. 
unless the world doesn't count as someone, in which case, okay, sure. It's a Zubat! Zubat! Grabo! Grabo is awesome. I just want to get Grabo up there, because Grabo is a, is a boss. Seriously. Seriously, who does not agree that Grabo is one of the best things ever? More of a pincer. Mega Pincer is a bit eh. I like, I like the idea of it, I like how it's flying type, and I like its ability, but it's a bit... It's a bit... Mm, it's kind of outclassed by everything. Ooh, focus energy. Ooh, how's this gonna work? Vice Grip. Too bad, Mr. Ratata, you shall not succeed today. Hyper Fang, ooh. Oh yeah, focus energy works, yeah. Okay, so this guy's got Raticate, which isn't the best thing. I'm gonna switch out to Moopy. Moopy, you've got this. You got this, Moopy. By the way, Moopy will be the worst member on my team for the longest time. Wrap him. It cannot escape. I don't know if I should keep using Rap or whether I should just switch out. I think I'm just gonna switch out to uh, Speed Beat. By the way, you may be wondering why I have Ducks on my party instead of a Bikini. That's because uh, it's like one more cave where you actually need to use Flash. And there's no caves for a while. Like, like a long while, pretty much. In fact, the only cave left in the game is completely optional. Although, there is a mansion that you'll need to scout out a bit later in the game, but... Trust me, you don't, you don't need anything. Oh my gosh, Hyper Fang. Speed V, learn an electric type attack? That was a crit. I'm just like, I didn't, I don't know this, that was a crit. Ah, oh, of course. Dang it. He's even paralyzed. Uh, stop it. Stop it, we're going bomber. Uh, now there's still two Pokemon left on my, uh, that I haven't gotten on my team yet. Um. Moopy! Zubat! Yeah, there's two Pokemon that I would like on my final team that I haven't gotten yet. Um, one of them I could have gotten this part, but to be honest, there's a bunch of other things to do, and it's pretty strong, you know? Plus, there's two opportunities to get it, and if I say that, that's giving it away. But hey, it's on my channel banner, you may as well. Razor Leaf! I know I'm slack, I'm using a level 36 Pokemon, but. Not anymore! Ha 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 ha! I really should've. Actually, no, I can't teleport out here, I tried that before. You're not going away with this! That's why we're going to leave this old man completely unattended. Hey, you can't have saved me! Thank you, but I came here of my own free will! I came to calm the soul of Cubone's mother! I think Marowak's spirit has gone to the afterlife! I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. Thankfully, he does take you out, which is nice. Now, oh yeah, we, we couldn't get that Pokemon yet. You know why? Yeah, now, your Pokemon, your Pokedex quest may fail without love for your Pokemon. I think this may help in your quest. And he gives you the Poke Flute. Upon hearing Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. It works on all sleeping Pokemon. It's a bit confusing, I don't think that actually works in battle. <laughs> it, it's more so a story element for the fact that there are sleeping Pokemon blocking your way from heading to, uh... Fuchsia City in both directions, which is hilarious. However, um, with that, I will... kinda go to my box, because we're gonna need to check out some stuff, like, I'm gonna need to drop off things. You're not gonna need the Silph Scope, by the way. It's n it, like seriously. Um, I'm not gonna need the Nugget. The Nugget. You're not gonna need the Silph Scope ever again in the game, so don't worry. Sell it if you want that. Uh, that's about it, really. I'm gonna need more Pokeballs, aren't I? Um, so yeah. So pretty much, uh, the Pokeflute is used to wake up those sleeping Pokemon. 
that uh, that are blocking the way to Future City. So uh, you can now go to Future City if you want to. Does this guy really not sell Pokeballs? Okay, he sells Great Balls, but I don't want Great Balls. We only need Pokeballs in a bit. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna f end up end this part right. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, I'll see you kids next time on Pokemon Blue. See you kids then.